So Microsoft just recently announced some new changes to their certification exams and to their certifications themselves. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through what are those changes and how does it affect you? So at Microsoft Ignite conference in September 2018, Microsoft announced a whole new exam format for 2019. That means that all of the Azure exams and certifications that were currently existed have basically been uh, you know, redesigned and we're going to talk about that in this video. The 7535 exam, which this course is about, has, is you can no longer take that exam after December 31st, 2018. So if you are currently uh, studying for it, you're underway for studying for it, you now have a deadline in which you can actually book and take and pass that test. If you pass the test, that pass will remain on your transcript forever. So you'll always be able to see that you took and passed 7535, but you do have until December 31st to get that done. Now the certifications that they led to the MCSA and the MCSE for cloud platform are also, you cannot um, acquire them after December 31st. So going forward in 2019, if you were partway down the path to get that MCSE, you're going to have to acquire that before December 31st or in 2019, that will no longer be acquirable. Okay. The new certification is called Microsoft Certified Azure Solution Architect Expert. So if you can pass the exams for this, you're going to be able to get this expert certification for solutions architecture. Now there is a couple of paths you need to go down in order to get that. If you're just starting from scratch, if you've not taken 7535 before, then you start from the left and you're going to have to acquire both the AZ300 and AZ301 exams. Microsoft has basically split the content of the 7535 exam into two exams. One exam deals with technologies. So this has to do with infrastructure, workloads, uh, technology solutions, deployments, security, etc. So that's the technologies exam on the 301 exam. That's the design exam, and that's more high level, more strategy. So identity and security, uh, deployment, migration, integration, strategy for infrastructure design, those types of architecture things in terms of design. So we've got technologies exam and design exam. If you pass them both, you can get that cool Microsoft certified Azure solutions, architect expert certification. Now there's a second way to get that. And that is to, to have already passed 7535 before December 31st, and then to take a transition exam. So if you've already passed it, you can actually get that expert certification by taking what is called the 302 exam. So this question is coming up in a lot in the Q and A and a lot in the Facebook group. Should I stop studying for 7535 and switch over to the new path? And the second question is what's going to happen with this course? Like you bought this course, maybe you bought it recently, maybe you bought it a long time ago and what's going to happen. Do we need to buy new courses, etc. So let's talk about first about the split. Now, whether you take the 7535 and then take the transition exam, or you go over to the 300 and 301 path, you still have to take two exams. So from this point forward to get that new certification, minimum of two exams. My advice is if you're really close to taking 535, if you were planning to take it this month or, re or recently, then continue to take it. Well, you've, if you're getting this far, uh, don't let these changes make you stop the car just uh, close to the finish line. Keep in mind that the AZ300 and AZ301 exams are still in beta. Now we don't know exactly when they're going to be out of beta. Let's say it's January 1st. So, you're going to take the test, the 301 or the 300 test recently, then you're going to have to wait for a while to get your results. So if you take the 300, you could potentially wait a couple of months before learning if you passed. If you failed to take to go and retake it, you would have lost all that time um, in terms of forgetting what was on the test and, and what you needed to restudy. So my advice is to uh, take the 7535 if you were planning to take it, you know, do that before December 31st and then take the AZ302, which only covers the difference between the 535 and the new exams um, in order to get that new certification. Now, I wanted to point out some of you have taken the 7534 exam. 
that was uh, 2017 and before, that is not available for the transition exam. So you are basically forced to go to the AZ300, AZ301 routes if you are only 7534 certified and not 535. The transition exam, which is AZ302, is available to take until June 30th, 2019. Now, this was just recently announced in the last day or two that they moved the, the expiry date for that exam to, to from March 31st to June 30th. So you have full, six full months during 2019 to take that transition exam and get the uh, upper certification. So that's why this is a great suggestion and a great path to take the 535 and then take the transition. You're not going to be rushed. You can take your time on that. Um, and then you're going to be just as qualified and just as certified as if you had gone the 300, 301 route. So here is the certification. Once again, Microsoft certified Azure Solutions Expert, uh, Architect Expert. Okay. Now that was the question of whether you should switch or not. And that was my advice. It's a totally personal decision. If you do want to take the 300 and 301, then that's great decision as well, right? There's no wrong answer here. Um, it's just a matter of what's what you feel like doing. Now, the second question that we get is what's going to happen with this course? Maybe you just purchased the course or maybe you purchased the course a while ago, but you haven't really gotten into it or stuff like that. Now, I do pride myself on keeping the courses updated. This course uh, first came out a couple of years ago and I've made, you know, 20 plus changes to the course since then and completely recorded it in 2018. So I will, I will uh, create a new section at the end of the course for the AZ300 content. Now that could take me a while to start recording some of that, but I do intend to uh, create new content for the AZ300 stuff. By January, 20, uh, January 1st, 2019, the 7535 will no longer be available. You'll no, no longer be able to take that exam. So I am going to archive the majority of the content so that people don't get confused and that you're uh, not studying something that's not on the AZ300 test. So the, the content of the uh, this exam will go away once the exam is no longer able to be taken. Uh, at the end of that, by January 1st, 2019, the AZ300 content will be what remains. So if you're planning to take AZ300, then that content will slowly be added this year. And by January 1st, then you'll basically have an AZ300 course. And so now as that changes and evolves over time, I'll continue to update the AZ300 course. So don't worry, the content that you paid for, you're still going to be able to keep until that exam is no longer available and you'll get all new content for this all new exam. Thanks a lot and let's continue.